everyone, welcome to Faber Book Time. My name is Fiona Lumbers and I am the illustrator of I Like Bees, I Don't Like Honey, which is a book that talks about everybody's likes and dislikes and it celebrates how unique we all are and how everybody likes and dislikes different things and that's okay. So today I thought I'd read you the story and then following that we can all do a draw along together. I'll tell you something that's a little bit funny. Jackson likes bees, but he doesn't like honey. And if you look a little bit closer around the page, you might be able to spot some bumblebees flying around. There's one, and there's another one. And see how many you can spot. Aisha likes playing outside, even when it's cold. But Ben likes playing inside and sitting good as gold. What do you like and what don't you like? And here we've got lots of children at a party, all playing and dancing, and they're telling us all their different likes and dislikes. So let's pick a couple and see what they put. Okay. I like getting the hiccups, but I don't like bedtime. I like being a ballerina. I don't like my toys getting broken. I like chasing balloons. I don't like it when people go away. May likes painting and making a mess. She doesn't like washing up or wearing a dress. I like painting too and making a mess. Do you? Tom likes space rockets and zooming through the sky. He doesn't like being told off. It makes him want to cry. What do you like and what don't you like? Here we've got lots of children at school sitting down. Let's find out what they like and don't like. I like sleeping. I don't like scary monsters in the dark. I like skateboarding. I don't like being asked lots of questions. I like my mummy's kisses, but I don't like yucky things. Neither do I. Skylar likes bouncing as high as she can go. Noah likes his dad. He hates the word no. Look, there's Noah playing on daddy's back. Looks like he's had lots of fun playing and making a bit of a mess as well, doesn't it? James likes paper aeroplanes. They're his favourite toys. Kai doesn't like strangers or making lots of noise. What do you like and what don't you like? Here we've got lots of children at the park playing around. Let's find out what they like and don't like. I like pretending to be an aeroplane. I don't like mum not listening to me and saying, hmm. I like scooters. I don't like llamas because they might spit at me. I like playing on my own. I don't like night time. Sam loves building things and following instructions. He also loves reading, but he doesn't like interruptions. Isla likes jellyfish. Mirai likes slides. They both like climbing, but they don't like bike rides. So here we've got lots of children at the swimming pool telling us what they like and don't like. Let's have a look. I like swimming. I don't like getting out. I like taking my time and I don't like being shouted at. I like splashing with my friends, but I don't like water getting in my ears. Neither do I. Kobe likes dogs and the funny things they do. He doesn't like getting scratched or picking up their poo. Ugh. Ava likes make-believe. It 
really makes her laugh. George doesn't like ketchup or getting in the bath. And there they are, all dressed up. What do you like and what don't you like? So here we've got lots of children at the soft play centre. There's a big ball pit. There we go. So let's find out what they like and don't like. I like sweets. I don't like people touching me. I like talking. I don't like my brother being bossy. I like pink. I don't like people looking at me. Jack likes numbers and sucking his thumb. Tess likes her imaginary friend and she loves chatting with her mum. Everyone is different. This much is true. What you like and what you don't is really up to you. And here at the back of the book, there's lots of speech bubbles where people are telling us what they like and don't like. And there's also room for you to tell us what you like and what you don't like. So if I was going to write here, I'd put, I like swimming in the sea and I like eating ice cream, but I don't like being woken up early or spiders. I hope you enjoyed I like bees, I don't like honey. And now we're going to do a quick draw along together. So to make the garden, I just found some scraps of paper different colours, you could use something from a newspaper or just some paper that you've got lying around and then I just cut some different shapes out to make some rocks, and some grass and some flowers. So to start with I thought because the book is called I Like Bees, I Don't Like Honey, we would start with a bee. So to draw the bee, we're going to draw a bee that's maybe just going to come and visit this flower here and what you'll need to do is draw a kind of squashed circle, so an oval shape, like so, and that's our bee's body. And then at the top of the body, we're going to draw two wings, which go like this. So you just go one loop, and then another loop, and that's the bee's wings. And now we'll give our bee a lovely stripy body, because that's how you always recognise a bumblebee. So just starting at the top, Draw two lines and then another two lines like so. And then just colour those in. And then we'll give our bee a little eye so you can see where it's going, like that. And then to finish off, a small triangle on the back like that. And that's his little stinger. Now to make it look like our bee's been flying around, we can do some little marks like so. So just go some little dashes around like this all the way round up to where the bee is and that looks like the bee's just flown in a circle and then to make the wings look like they're flapping if we just put a couple of small lines like so and it looks like it's flying towards the flower uh, I'm just going to add a couple of other quick ones here how about something on this rock here I think if we start with a circle like this so once you've drawn your circle, find roughly where the middle of the circle is and then just draw a line going around like this. What could this be? I think I can guess. So if we start at the bottom of the circle and go all the way around like this, this kind of sausage shape all the way around. And then from the top here, two lines, one, two. And then on top of them, two circles like this and then we've got a snail. Now I think the snail has just noticed the bees so if we draw two dots near the top it looks like our snail is looking up. We can give them a couple of raised eyebrows and maybe a smile because he's pleased to see the bees buzzing around in the garden. I think maybe next we could draw a slug. <laughs> So if we start here, go up and round and then a bit of a wiggly line and then just join them together. There's our slug's body 
the slugs are quite easy to draw. And then like we did with the snail, we're going to give our slug two eyes on stalks. So two lines and then a circle, a dot here and then another one here and a couple of eyebrows and a big smile and maybe a couple of teeth. There we go. And we can give our slug some pattern as well by drawing some spots on him now. This looks like quite a good area to do a shape like this. What do you think the next thing will be? If we draw bump, 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 and then draw some lines going up like this. What does that look like? Could that be a spider web? If we draw a string coming down, that's our spider string, and then we'll draw a circle like this all the way around. And now we need to draw eight legs, so four on each side. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and then the same on this side, one, two, three, four. And then two circles, like so. That's our spider's eyes. And then a big smile. And maybe a couple of pointy teeth. Now, which way shall our spider be looking? I think maybe the spider's going to be looking down here at something that's crawling on this rock. So if we draw our circle, little dots in our eyes down there, it looks like the spider's looking down. Maybe add a few little lines to make our spider look a little bit, a little bit hairy, a little hairy spider. There we go. So what could be on this rock down here? Maybe we could draw a small ladybird. So to draw a ladybird, you do a, a curved light like that and then join them together. So it's like a semicircle. And then on the front, another circle, a small one. And then some spots like this, and a little eye, and some small legs, and there's our little ladybird. Maybe give the ladybird a couple of antennae like that as well. There we go. So, what else can we pop in our garden? You could have maybe a worm that's just crawled out, so wiggly line. He's just poking his head out from behind the rock to say hello. And then once you've drawn that, some curved lines round like this and a little eye and he's saying hello to the slug. And then we've still got a gap here. And what we could do there is draw a butterfly. So starting here, go round like this. So this is like a triangle but with curved sides. So we've got one, two, three. And then when we get back to here, we're going to do the same but smaller. So we're going to go one, two, three. And that's one side of the butterfly. And leaving a little gap, we need to try and mirror this shape again. So we'll go up and round and across and then down, across and up. And there's our two wings. And then a circle here. There's the butterfly's head and then round like that, there's the body. We can draw two antennae like this. So one, two. We give our butterfly two eyes and maybe a smile. And then on the butterfly's wings, because they're symmetrical, whatever we draw on this side, we need to copy on this side. So you can do whatever pattern you like. I'm just going to do some circles like this. And then another one here, another one here, and then a smaller one and a smaller one like that. And then the same again. And that's my butterflies pattern. And then you can do some little marks to make it look like our butterflies fluttering in the garden. So I think that's enough creatures for my garden. I hope you've enjoyed the draw along and I hope you enjoy drawing in your own make-believe garden and thanks for watching. Bye for now.